everyone welcome back to my channel data bi sql uh, in today's video i'll continue with the amazon sql interview question and this is going to be part 15 so i have made around 14 videos before this so uh, and and that is all everything is in one playlist uh, which i'm going to put in the comment section so i i do request you guys to please go and look at uh, those 14 videos as well uh, those videos also have like a uh, very useful uh, questionnaires so uh, let's get started with today's video. Uh, so today's video uh, is is mainly focused on uh, self joint concept because that's also one of the joint concept that gets asked frequently in Amazon uh, like initial rounds, right? I mean, it's uh, um, whether it's a data engineer or uh, BI engineer uh, uh, related interviews. Uh, uh, in the in the initial round, right? I mean, these kind of questions are asked, and self join is a very common. Uh, kind of a joint concept which uh, which which frequently gets asked so uh, I'll just go over a couple of questions that can be asked uh, I'm going to use the same two tables that are used in a part 14 uh, right I mean you know uh, uh, it's so so if you uh, if you have not looked at part 14 I highly recommend that uh, and I'm going to I'm going to paste the insert script and create table script again in this video so that even if you have not watched that video uh, you can still copy paste from the comment section and then you know uh, play around with the data and run the same queries i am running uh, before i get started right i mean i i have a request that uh, please please subscribe to my channel and like my videos that's going to give me a lot of encouragement to to make new content so let's get started so here if you see there are two tables that are given that is customer dim and uh, so it has the customer information, customer ID, name, birth date, item purchase date, item spent, city, state, and country. And there's a order fact table. So if you look at this table, uh, it has order ID, order 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 orders, and customer ID. So if you see, there is a repeat, so repeat customer, right? And that's pretty much a common scenario that you see, right? Uh, that one customer obviously can place multiple orders. So in this case, if you see customer one has placed like order one and eight, two has placed two and nine, and three has placed three and ten, and customer four, six, eight has only placed, uh, you know, one order, right? I mean, and there is an order date uh, uh, and then order type, like whether the order was done through web, mobile, or customer service, okay? So the question that they are asking is show those order IDs which are placed by same customers but having different order type. Right, so uh, what they are asking for here is show those order IDs. So display is you need to have order ID uh, which are placed by same customers. So what is what do you mean by same customers? So same customer means obviously uh, 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 let's say customer one has placed the order. So it's the same customer, right? So one customer has placed uh, you know multiple orders, right? More than one order, but having different order type, right? So what they are saying is. If customer one has placed two orders, had, is their order type different? Web and mobile? Yes, it is. Two has placed uh, order two and nine. Has their customer order type different? No, it's same. And three has placed web. So customer type is different? Yes, it is different customer service, right? So that means our order one and three should come up in the query, correct? Right? So. Uh, since they are asking, uh, you know, uh, since here we need to, here it's, it's basically they are trying to trick you, right? Uh, so here they gave two tables, but do you really need the, the customer table? Uh, the answer is no, right? Because they are not saying, show me the customer name, right? They are saying, show me the order IDs and the customers also. So uh, all the information, you get it from the same table, right? So when they are trying to ask, like, right, by, by the same customer having different order type, right? When they are trying to ask this kind of questions giving you only one table right they are trying to compare right placed by same customer that means you have to compare two customers right i mean uh, the same customer but different order type so so you have to compare the order type right so in that case just uh, it should click in your mind that you know it's the question is related to self join right self join right i mean otherwise how will you match the data between two tables the only way to match the data between two tables is like you know have two tables right and here there is only one table so you do Created two tables out of one table, which is basically a self join. You are using the same table two times, correct? So if you see here, uh, you know, first they are asking for order ID, so we need to have order ID and then uh, 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 do a self join, right? So we are using two tables. And then what we are saying is the question is having different order type, right? 
So that means the the table A order type should not match to table B order type. Correct? It's pretty pretty straightforward, right? Yep. And then placed by the same customer, right? They are saying placed by the same customer. So that means customer ID has to match, but order type does not have to match. Correct? Right? And then the order ID, we need to put this condition in self join because you know order ID should not match, right? I mean order ID should be different. Correct? Because if you are not going to put this condition, it's going to match the order IDs also, right? So we don't, we want sep different orders, right? We want separate orders, different orders placed by same customer, but having different order type, correct? So when you run this query, right? So as you can see, first one, three, eight, and 10, right? Those are coming up. So one, three, eight, and 10. So if you see one, three, eight and 10, correct? Because customer ID placed two orders, both are having different order type, correct? And then three is customer service, order three and 10 is web and customer service, right? So that means we are correct, correct? We are, we are, we are showing the correct order IDs, right? That means our answer is correct. Now, let's say they asked that, show me those order IDs which are placed by same customer, but having the same order type, right? If they ask this kind of a question, same order type, that means what you will do here, you will say equal to instead of not equal to, correct? So when you do that, what do you get? Two and nine, right? Why? Uh, because as we saw, two and nine is placed by customer two, if you remember, right? Two and nine, order two and nine is placed by customer two. And why it has come up? Because web, web, right? There is only this this customer right which is having the same order type right web that's why it's it's coming up right so just read the question properly right i mean and then based on that uh just uh you know frame the question in in the in your mind like i am saying in other videos also try and frame the question first see whether you need to use self join or you need to join two tables right join condition first look at that and then see what needs to go in select clause is there any filtering condition they're asking for is there any matching condition they're asking for, right? So based on that, you know, just, just format your query. And then when you see, we, we, we wrote not matching order type, same customer, right? And order ID obviously has to be different, right? Uh, uh, so th that makes it, that makes it uh, forming of query very easy, okay? So that's question three. Question four is the reason why I have question three and question four is because question one and two is covered in the part 14, right? I mean, you know, because it's a, the same table so you know I, instead of having question one and two i'm just continuing that that series right i mean that part 14 uh, question one and two is covered in part 14 question three and four is covered here so that's why i'm saying that highly i highly recommend you at least look at part 14 if you are looking at part 15 first but i i recommend to look at part 14 first okay uh the question number four is show those customer ids by month of order date who placed the order in same month and year this and year okay you place the order in same month and year display the actual order date also along with the customer id and month of order date okay so here they are saying display the actual order date okay along with the customer id and month of order date right so first we need to see whether where is this information available okay here, if you see, they are saying customer order date is available here, right? Customer ID is available here and, and uh, you know, month of the order date. So month is basically extracting from order. So here also, again, you don't need to go to the customer table because they're asking customer ID, right? Again, uh, you don't need to go. Uh, you need to just use one table and show those customer IDs by month of order date, uh, right? Who placed the order in same month and year. Okay. So what, what they are saying is the order should be placed in the same month and year so let's see so you have customer id one and two is this matching no because month is different here also it is not matching right so 20 to 4 10 do we have 20 to 4 yeah see this should come up right six and three because because they placed the order in the same month correct 10 4 and 16 4 and 2022 correct yeah and then 12 4 also okay it's the same month right so it should come up so this three should come up as well as you have in may you have may 2022 you have three three orders right so basically what we are saying here is 2021 is not matching 2022 february also not matching 
three also not matching. So basically what we're saying in the April, there are three orders and then in May, there are three orders, correct? That should be our answer, correct? So, uh, so the, in the query, right? Again, again, since we have to use the same table, right? We need to use the self join, correct? So uh, what we are do, going to do here is we are going to say distinct customer ID. Then there is a, uh, they are saying by month, right? They're saying by month of order date, right? So how to do the month? Uh, you need to have a function in Postgres. You need to write the function say extract month from order date. So this is the this is the this is the function that you need to use if you want to extract month from the order date, right? If you want to extract year from the order date, you need to put year. Okay. So that's how the Postgres function is the function is structured. Okay. So you need to put extract month from order date as month of order date and then order date, right? They are asking you from order fact A and fact B, right? Again, again the order ID should not match right because they are saying right that uh, customer id uh, who basically placed the order in the same month uh, and year so you need to make sure that there are two different orders being placed in the same month right that's why you need to put this condition okay and again the customer id should not match right because we need to have unique customer ids right that's why we are saying distinct right so the customer ids we want those customer different customers who have placed the order in the same month Correct. That's that's the ask, right? And then what we need to say and because they are saying place the order who placed the order in the same month and year, right? So that's a filter condition, right? So we need to say extract year from order date is equal to extract year from B order. So if you see this, we use two tables, right? So we are trying to match the order date between two table, year of the order date and month of order date, right? Because you need to match that, right? Because they are saying same month and year. So how will you make sure that the you will make sure that by matching the year and month of order date from the both tables right that's how you will get that's how you will get the same matching uh, order month and year right so uh, let's run this query okay so if you see right it is coming up correctly like we like we envision correct so in may month you have three orders right and then in april month you have three orders right so it's showing customer ID, it's showing month of order date, it's showing the actual order date as well, right? So that's that's the answer, right? I mean, so again, here, uh, you know, first look at whether how many tables you have to use, whether you have to use both tables. In this case, no, you have to use only one table. And if one table, they're asking you to do the matching condition, right? That uh, those customer uh, by the month of order date who placed the order in the same month and year, right? So you need to use the self join and then once you decide, once you know that it's self join, then you need to determine the joining condition, right? So obviously order ID um, uh, placed the two different orders in the same month, right? So order, order ID should not match. Even customer ID should not match, right? Um, uh, you know, it should be placed by, uh, you know, uh, by different customers, right? And then filter condition is given that the uh, the month and year of the order should, should be same, correct? So that's why we put a filtering condition also, right? So that's our answer. So uh, overall, if you see, right, both these questions uh, are covering the self-join concept, right? It's covering the self-join concept. It's covering how to extract month and year from the from the order date, right? So uh, I, I hope uh, this video was useful uh, to you guys. Uh, and if that's the case, I again request you to please subscribe to my channel and like my videos. Thanks, guys.